Chris Truth Channel. Hey, how y'all doing? My name's Jason, and I'm with Seize Truth Channel. Um, this is my first personal introduction on YouTube and any of my videos. So I just wanted to uh, say hello, and I appreciate you uh, listening and watching my videos. I hope this brings more of a, a personal level of understanding with my viewers, and I'm always willing to communicate. And, um, you know, I do the same thing everybody else does, is I like to seek the truth out, and I like to decide for myself. So I hope you find this information useful, and I'm going to continue shooting my videos this way. Um, so I hope you all enjoy. Uh, this video today is called What is Mankind? And uh, what we're going to discuss here is basically what we are at the core, at the foundation. And I feel like this is important because it seems like there's a lot of misunderstanding about man and where we come from and what we're made of. And the origins in general is one of the biggest mysteries we have. So this is what I've come up with. I would like to start at John chapter one, verse three and verse four. Through him, all things were made and without him, nothing was made that has been made. In him was life and that life was the light of men. So whenever you look at through in the Greek, it means on the account of, by reason of, for the sake of, and because of. So you can pretty much apply those translations in that verse any way you would like. Let's go to Revelation 13.8. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb, slain from the foundation of the world. So this is talking about the beast of the earth, saying that all that dwell upon the earth shall worship the beast. At least the ones whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundations of the world. The word world in this verse in the Greek is universe. And the word slain in this verse means I slay, kill by violence, slaughter, and wound mortally. So I would like to point out that the lamb was slain at the foundations of the earth. Not 2,000 years ago whenever Jesus died on the cross, but the lamb was slain at the foundations of the earth. And whenever we go down to Genesis chapter one, verses one through four, we can see exactly what's going on. So let's start at Genesis chapter one, verse one. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. So real quick, God in this verse is Elohim, and Elohim is plural. It means mighty men, divine beings, judges, rulers, uh, goddesses, lowercase gods, and so on. So the Elohim created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. There was no light yet. The Elohim created the heaven and the earth in darkness. We got to remember our Father in heaven is light, within whom is no shadow of turning or variableness. He is light, He is always light, and there is no darkness within Him. So whenever the Elohim created the heaven and the earth, it was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and darkness was upon the Elohim. 
Now let's go to verse 3. And Elohim said, Let there be light. And there was light. And Elohim saw the light, and that it was good. And Elohim divided the light from the darkness. Whenever you translate, let there be, let there be, it means to fall out. So if we put this verse into context and use the translation, it says, and Elohim said, a light fell out and there was light. And Elohim saw that light and that it was good. And they divided the light from the darkness. So the father sent his son, his only begotten son, that through him, the universe, world in the Greek means universe, that the universe might be saved. The lamb was slain at the foundations of the earth. So right here up in Genesis, verse 1 and verse 2, this is the foundations of the earth where the lamb was slain. When was the lamb slain? In verse 3, whenever the lamb fell out of heaven and the Elohim divided the light from the darkness. Now, as we set up here in John 1, through him all things were made and without him was nothing made. So if the lamb was slain from the foundations of the earth, then that means that in order for there to be life on the earth, the lamb had to have been slain. And the lamb was slain so that through him, the universe would be saved. So now let's go to Genesis 126 and verse 27. Then Elohim said, Let us make man in our image and after our likeness to rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air and the livestock and over all the earth itself and every of creature that crawls upon it. Verse 27. So God created man in his own image and the image of God he created him, male and female he created them. So, right here, the word make is asa. The word create is bara. These are two different words with two different meanings. We got to remember that the Elohim is plural. And this was before the war in heaven. This was before the fall. So, therefore, the fallen ones and the not fallen ones are dwelling together. And they are creating together. There was no division yet in the heavens. and There was no war yet in the heavens. That's still to come at the end of chapter 1. So here, part of the Elohim are asking, let us make man in our image and after our likeness. And it's like they got told no. So the Elohim, the other Elohim said, let us make man, let us create man after our own image, after the likeness of Elohim. And that's exactly what they did. And within man is the light, which is the life. And as you can see up here, in him was life, and that life was the light of men. So within man is the light of life. What light? The same light that descended from heaven upon the Elohim. That we call the Lamb, whom was slain from the foundations of the world. The Lamb came down from heaven amongst the yellow human darkness and was slain, cut up into pieces. And without the Lamb, 
creation could have never taken place. The Elohim used that light, that life, to create the earth. And through that light, through that life, through the Christ that was sent down from heaven, we are all going to be saved. Why? Because it dwells within us. We are created after his image. We have the light of Christ within us. The lamb that was slain from the foundation of the world was slain so that we might possess his light and that we might use his light to shine in the darkness. So that's what happened in Genesis 126 and 127. Let's go to Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, and we're going to talk about what the Lord Yahweh did in the garden. Genesis 2, 7. And the Lord... Yahweh formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul. So the Lord Yahweh here formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Now, Christ is the life. The life is the light. The light is within mankind from the lamb that was slain at the foundations of the world. So it was already within mankind to have life, to have the light. The original man in Genesis 127 did not need the breath of anything to be breathed into his nostrils because it already existed within him. In Genesis 2, 7, Lord Yahweh formed man of the dust because the original man had been destroyed. And out of that dust, which contained the marrow and the blood of the Elohim due to the war in heaven, and also the Genesis chapter 1, creation of mankind, some of them were destroyed in the great destruction and their marrow and their blood was in the mountains. You can read this in Isaiah 34. But you must use the translations of the animals that they use, and you will see exactly who it is talking about. So out of that dust, Lord Yahweh, who was cast out of heaven after the war in heaven, formed man of the dust, and he breathed into the nostrils the breath of life. The breath of life means the spirit of a wild beast in translation. And man became a living soul. So let's go to Genesis 3.19. And the sweat of thy face shall thou eat bread till thou return unto the ground. For out of it thou wast taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust shall thou return. Genesis 18.27. Then Abraham let... Then Abraham answered, Now that I have ventured to speak to the Lord, though I am but dust and ashes. Notice Abraham said ashes. That is because, as I said before, Isaiah 34, the marrow and the blood and the ashes of the fallen Elohim from the war in heaven, whom were slain by Yahweh, was in the dust. And that is exactly what he used to create Adam in the garden. So, <clears throat> Yahweh uses this throughout the Old Testament. He says, man is just dirt, and to dirt he will return. If you notice, whenever Christ came, who is in the image of the Father, who came to do the will of our Father in heaven, Christ said that within man is the light of life. That eternity lasts with, exists within us. 
So if eternity exists when, within us, in the Father in heaven, and the kingdom of heaven is within us, then we are not just dust, and we are not just dirt. But Yahweh seems to really shove this in our face throughout the Old Testament, that we are just dirt, and we are not. We contain the light of life, the light that descended down upon the earth and the universe to save the universe. We contain that light. And that is exactly what mankind is. Mankind is the light of life the light of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world that was cut into pieces and thrown down to the earth to be used for the enemy to exalt his own throne above the stars of heaven, to exalt himself like the most high in whom he can never reach. Job thirty four fifteen. All flesh would perish together and mankind would return to the dust. What about the teachings of Jesus Christ? If we believe in Christ, if we believe in the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world, we are saved and we will return to our Father in heaven. That is not just dust. That is not just dirt. Abraham, Job, Adam. They did not have the glorious light of Christ given to them to understand this. Through their faithfulness, they received salvation. For Abraham did see the day of the Christ, and he was pleased. But nonetheless, their understanding was limited as to what existed within them. The Christ made it crystal clear what was within all of us. So let's review. Because of the Christ, all things were made. And without him was nothing made that has been made. For in him was life, and that life was the light of men. Revelation 13, 8, talking about the beast. All that dwell upon the earth shall worship the beast, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb, whom was slain from the foundation of the world, which is the foundations of the universe. The word slain means I kill, to be killed by violence, to be slaughtered, or to be mortally wounded. The lamb was slain from the foundation of the earth in Genesis verse 3. After the Elohim created the heaven and the earth in darkness, it was without form and void. There was no life. Why? Because life had not come down from heaven yet. So once the light came down from heaven, Elohim saw that light that fell out and that it was good and they caused a division. Now what did Christ say? He said, I come not to bring peace but I come to bring division. I come to divide. Well, as soon as the Lamb descended from heaven, the Elohim divided the light from the darkness. And the Elohim wanted to make man. Instead, the Elohim created man in his own image, which means his own form, his own likeness, his own resemblance. That man contained the light of Christ. And that was the first creation of man. But the first creation of man was destroyed. And you can read that in the latter part of Genesis, which I also have a video on, Genesis chapter 1. And after the war in heaven, the chiefs, the captains, the mighty men, all the angels who fought in the war in heaven, their bone marrow, their blood, filled the mountains and the land and the dust. And out of that dust, the Yahweh, the dragon, whom was cast out of heaven, formed man out of the dust. 
put Adam in a deep sleep, which means a trance, so Adam could not understand nor know good from evil. And he used this against us. He wants to make man look like they're just dirt. He wants to elevate his throne above the most high. We have the light of Christ. We have what it takes to defeat evil. So I thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, I ask you to please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you have a great day, and uh, thank you.